Hi, I'm Ariana from Italy. Please like and subscribe. I was born in a small town to adoring parents. They weren't wealthy, but they kind of spoiled me. I had too many clothes because mom kept making me pretty dresses from her old ones, and dad's coat pockets always had chocolates for me that I ate behind mom's back. Life was good, except for one thing. I was growing up really clumsy. I'd run straight into glass doors, walk into puddles, trip over everything. But when I was five, I did something crazy. It was my cousin's wedding, and as I ran up the church stairs, I missed the last step and tripped. As I went flying, I grabbed the bride's dress and heard it rip. I looked up to see her screaming with her underwear showing. The whole wedding was called off. Ariana, can't you ever watch where you're going? I, I'm a sorry, mom, but sometimes I just don't see things. My parents took me to an eye doctor, and we discovered that my eyesight was terribly weak. When I wore glasses for the first time, I was suddenly seeing a whole new world. But at school, this girl just wouldn't stop making fun of my glasses. One day, I was going home when she called out, Hey, want me to clean those windows on your face? And she threw some soapy water at me. I ignored her and walked off to Dad, but he'd seen everything. Ariana, go back and teach that bully a lesson right now, or this will never end. He was right. I ran straight back at the girl and knocked her down. I sat on her and pulled her hair. Next time you mess with me, I'll bite you. I'll bite all of you. No one ever bothered me after that. In fact, I had tons of friends growing up. But in ninth grade, everything changed. I came back home one day to find mom crying hysterically, and I was shook to see the note she gave me. My darlings, I'm leaving immediately and I can't come back. Please forgive me. Dad, what? What did he mean? Just then we heard loud banging on the door. We opened it to find half the town outside looking mad. Where's that trash husband of yours? We want our money back. It turned out that dad had taken money from everyone for some investment scheme and ran away with it. They said they'd be back for him and mom and I were horrified. Dad had just abandoned us to deal with this? So mom made a decision. We were gonna leave immediately for the US where her sister lived. We traveled to New York and my aunt welcomed us into her home. I was eager to meet my cousin, but she was on vacation with her dad. Aunt was the principal at a school, and soon she enrolled me there, and even got mom a janitor's job. But dear sister, do I really have to work? I could uh, cook for you. This is America. Everyone works here. You can stay with me, but you'll have to earn for yourself. Summer break was soon over, and on my first day of school, I sat down at the back of the classroom. Suddenly, a boy snatched my glasses. I want to try on these goggles. <laughs> Whoa, girl, you're half blind. Oh, I never noticed. I'm stupido. You're Italian? Your accent is adorable. I can't say the same for you. Without my glasses, there's no difference between you and a donkey. Now give them back before I cut you. Ah, that hot Italian blood. Tell me, how many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers do you want me to poke into your eyes? The boy laughed and I was about to attack him when someone stepped in. Give those back. She's my cousin, Danny, so you better not mess with her. I saw that it was the girl from the picture at Aunt's house. She was my cousin. Ugh, you're back. I was hoping you had changed schools, Sandra. Just then the teacher walked in and everyone flew to their seats.